Hi, welcome to the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Um, this is part of a series of migrating from Cisco to Brocade, uh, or if you're classically Cisco trained and you are, you know, becoming a Brocade shop, um, how to translate some of those commands. So for the most part, they're very, very similar, um, but there are some slight differences. So um, in the case, in this case, we're going to talk about static routes, and so static routes you'll see are, are almost identical. So here I have a, a Telnet session open to a Cisco device. It happens to be a 3560, and then I have a Brocade device, which is a 7250. So on the Brocade device, config T, to do an I, it's IP route, uh, we need three pieces, right? So we need a destination subnet, a subnet mask, and a next hop. So we'll set our uh, destination subnet 172.16.0.0. We'll type out the mask. And then uh, we'll do a next hop of 10.0.0.2. Okay. Uh, we can also set um, some other parameters on that. So we could set um, a, an, a, an administrative distance, for example, if we were trying to do a floating static. So we could say, you know, 120 is the administrative distance. Um, we could set a, you know, a, an interface as a next hop, etc. cetera. Um, so once I do that, assuming I have IP routing enabled, which I've already turned on on this device, um, drop it here and do a show IP route. And there's my statics that I just created. So 172.16.0.0 slash 24 um, with a 120 administrative distance via 10.0.0.2. And there's a, um, uh, and then there's a directly connected on VLAN 1. So um, there's, the, there's the static route that I created previously. Um, so to do that on the brocade side, big T, Right, so IP route exactly the same way. Uh, 172.16.0.0. Type out the subnet mask, uh, and then our next hop 10.0.0.1. Um, and again, we have um, we have basically the same thing. So I can set a cost, I can set a name, a tag, etc. I can also do an administrative distance of 120. Um, and so one of the differences, though, is on the brocade side, let's create another one, 1610. I can do like a slash 24, for example, instead of typing out the mask. Um, and that is just as acceptable. So you cannot do that on the Cisco side, but you can do it on brocade. So we will accept it either way. Uh, but then if you look at the show run here, when we see the route, um, in the show run, it converts them. In this case, it converts them both to, to the slashes to the cider mass. Um, and if I do a show IP route, <laughs> there I see my two routes: 172.16.0.0 and 172.16.1.0/24 via 10.0.0.1. Uh, my administrative distance is 120 on the one that I set the distance on. And the uh, one I didn't set the distance on, obviously, it defaults to administrative distance of 1, which it should according to the standard. Uh, but as you can see, it's pretty much, pretty much identical here. Um, the other thing that I didn't tell you is that you'll notice that I did a show IP route from config mode here on the brocade. I cannot do that on the Cisco. So depending on the code you're running, you might be able to do a do show from config mode or you got to drop out and do the show command from uh, from global, um, as opposed to the brocade where I can do the show anywhere, I can do a write memory anywhere, etc. Okay, so that's it for this video. Uh, but as I said, you know, very very close. So other than the fact that you could do a cider mask on the brocade side, it's pretty much an identical configuration. All right, so that's it. Thanks for joining.